Shalom Aleichem, everyone. Hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful week. This week in Eretz Yisrael, we are learning parashas, we are learning parashas Emor in Chutz La'aretz, parashas Kedoshim. So let's try and uh, bridge this gap a little bit and uh, share an idea that's common to both. We all know the opening of parashas Kedoshim, a very, very famous pasuk, a famous perhaps mitzvah, and that is the mitzvah of Kedoshim to you, that the Torah enjoins us and tells us that we are supposed to be Kedoshim. Why? Because Ki Kadosh Ani Hashem Alokecha, because Hashem is Kadosh. And we generally assume that the word Kadosh means, and Rashi points this out, means parush, to be separate, to be a little bit different, set apart. Rashi writes, Prushim min ha'arayos, u min ha'avera. We're supposed to be separating ourselves from Averos, from Gili Arayos, and that is Kadoshim to you. The Ramban famously says, no, no. Kadoshim to you is an overarching mitzvah. It's a mitzvah that is what I'll call a mitzvah klali, that tells us that we are in our lo- approaching our lives and are approaching our relationship to Gashmias. How do we view Gashmias? We can go ahead and live a life that is fully, fully hedonistic and not violate a single issa. We can go ahead and eat in fancy restaurants, making our brachos, saying Pirkei with a lot of kavana and really, really pound food. Not to do a single Avera, mm, but says the Ramban, that's not a life of Kedusha. That's not a sanctified, elevated life. And there is a catch-all mitzvah, says the Ramban, not to be a novel Bishus HaTorah, not to go ahead and abuse the system, so to speak. Is that the Torah tells us we have to look to not just the letter of the law, but understand the spirit of the law. And the Torah tells us here and there, you have global mitzvahs that tell us, for example, in the world, in our relationship with Gashmias, with physicality, with the speech. The Torah doesn't legislate every single word coming out of our mouth, says the Ramban. You can't curse. Why? Because Kedoshim to you. And everything that we do, every action that we do, should be informed by a core mission statement that is Kedoshim to you. And every so often the Torah gives us these general concepts, and that's telling us not. Not, oh yes, nice idea, but no, that's embedded into how we're supposed to look at mitzvahs. And here we look at mitzvahs kedoshim to you. In the area of Dine Mominus, of Choshen Mishpah, we have a lot of halachos. But then there's a pasuk, a catch-all phrase, a mitzvah klalis that says, Ve'asisa ha'yosher v'hatov. You might satisfy the letter of the law, but also look to the spirit of the law. Is this yosher? Is it tov? Is it good? And the Ramban says the same exact thing. He quotes in last week's parsha, but a pasuk in parsha's Emor. When it comes to the mitzvahs of Yontif and Shabbos, the Torah tells us that the days are supposed to be days of Shabbosam. They're supposed to be days of sabbatical. That is to say, we're supposed to retreat from the normal activities. So a person could live his life fully, fully, fully fulfilling the letter of the law of Shabbos. Not do a single Avera, but living a day of Shabbos that's totally choldic, not Shabbistic. And someone might tell you, yeah, it's permissible to, let's say, spend the entire day on the ball field. It's permissible, it's just not Shabbistic. And Ramban's going to tell you, no, no, you're missing the point. The Pasuk Shabbos and Parshas Emor is telling you it's more than it's just not Shabbistic. If it's not Shabbistic, you are violating a mitzvah saseh of Shabbos. If it is inappropriate to who you are as a human being, as a Ben Torah, it's a violation of the mitzvah of Kedoshim to you. If you've satisfied the letter of the law when it comes to Mishpatim, when it comes to Ben Adam Lechavero, but you know it's not Yashar, then it's not just, oh, not Shabbistic, not technically Mutter, but, no, no, it might even indeed be Aser. That's what these general concepts and mitzvahs are. They are mitzvahs. And they're telling us, identify a little bit, think a little bit. What is the Ratzon HaTorah? Rav Asher Weiss develops this idea a lot when it comes to the mitzvah of Tsar Balei Chaim. There's no one puzzle that says you can't treat animals in a way that's going to cause them tsar, but you look around a little bit, the Bil- Bilam's donkey, look at the mitzvah of Prika, to Ina, to unload donkeys, etc., the Isra of Los Saksam Shorbadisha, you can't muzzle an animal, you put all that together and you get the idea, mm-hmm, Hashem doesn't want us to cause tsar, Bale Chaim. So these mitzvahs, klolios, become very, very significant in informing our relationship to halacha and identifying what the Ratzon Hashem is. Things to think about. Wanted to wish everyone a beautiful Shabbos Kodesh.